You may not have guessed it, but in this suburban home near Baltimore, firearms are being made. The gunsmith is 31-year-old Travis LaRolle. So if you can come on down, I'll show you what I've got. In here we have the 3D printer. It's this is his 21st century forge, a basic 3D printer costing around $1,300. It melts layers of hot plastic on top of one another, and these gradually make, well, whatever you want. Using a design downloaded from the internet, Travis has made a handgun almost entirely of plastic called the Liberator. It fires regular bullets. It is a very basic firearm, so it's very simple um, and fairly unreliable at this point. But as a technological challenge, building a firearm out of plastic is quite difficult. So it adds a lot of uh, challenge and uh, it's definitely been very educational for me. The inventor of the Liberator is Cody Wilson and it was he who first fired the weapon earlier this year. <coughs> Under weapons export legislation, the State Department demanded he take down the online blueprints. But by then it was too late and the files had already been shared thousands of times. Some state legislators are now trying to make it illegal for 3D printers to be used for such a purpose, but supporters like Travis don't see the concern. Uh, it's not a particularly dangerous firearm to others. It's a single shot firearm and we have much better firearms available commercially. So I don't worry about it being used in crime or anything of that nature. In terms of people building firearms at home, we've uh, been doing that in America since basically the, uh, the creation of the country, so you know. You don't necessarily need a 3D printer to do that. Pretty much a straightforward, it just snaps like that. It's Super. true that for now, 3D printed guns are primitive, but even so cheap printers can already be used to make parts of more advanced weapons. Travis has made the blue components of this AR-15 assault rifle to fit with off-the-shelf parts. The worry for gun control advocates is that as the technology matures, there will be very little that governments can do to limit access to weapons.